Hey, Rafa, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm okay. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, the same. Pretty good. Pretty good. I think uh, always is a lot of activities to do on Monday. So many things that uh, that you have to remember. The weekend was for relaxing, and now it's time back to to go back to work. Yeah, that's right. And how's the job? Everything okay? Yes, yeah, today uh, was, was was everything okay? Because uh, today, uh, well, no, this week, this week uh, we are celebrating the customer care uh, week. So uh, we have more activities uh, in this on site uh, today. Uh, we ate cake oh. and I drink something with soda. And Microsoft gave us uh, a shirt and a uh, hercules with the brand. It's really good. That's nice. That's nice. It's good that they treat you well. Yep. Mm -hmm. And how's everything in Santana? And your weekend, Rafa? Did you work this weekend? I think that today and tired, but or stress, I guess. Uh, no, I I had uh, my day. So it's very sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, and, uh, the weekend, uh, I really enjoyed my weekend. Hello, teacher. Hey. I lost the uh, I I lost the the single. Uh, no I told you that uh, the, this weekend I really enjoyed because I went to to Chalatenango to Entrepinos uh, after that was on Saturday and Sunday I went to Suchitoto uh, to uh, at uh, Suchitan Lake. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. it What's relaxing? A relaxing experience. Okay. Hey, did you go on a boat ride? Yep. Okay. Been For 25 bucks, <laughs> I think it's a little too expensive, but uh, it doesn't matter. How much? 25. 25. Only for you? Uh, for five people. Yeah, then it's not bad. It's five dollars a person. But, uh, but if you only go with uh, your couple or a friend, uh, you will have to pay the, the twenty-five for two people or three. Uh, it's no matter. It's expensive. Oh. Okay. Okay. So yeah. it's twenty-five, no matter what. No matter what. Correct. Okay. Okay. And how long was it? Uh, one hour, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. It's for thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's a little expensive. Yeah, but uh, the these are that. things that the, these are things that the, the, you don't do uh, day by day or on your on your day by day. So it's not matter, really, it's not matter. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking because um, because it's fifty dollars an hour, right? And normally you can rent the jet ski for about sixty five, and it's private. Only you and you go to the lake where you want. But not from down there, no, in in that lake. There's no jet ski. No, no, only a boat. Uh, in in Quatepeque, Quatepeque Lake, uh, there are jet ski. Yeah. The jet ski yeah. option. Yep. Okay. Okay. I wonder why. Um, there must be a reason why there are no jet skis. Maybe it's the 
the plants or the algae or, or something that there's no there's there has to be a reason yep mm -hmm. and uh, i never seen a ferry and uh, someday i seen uh, i saw a ferry uh, moving a car across the, wow. uh, the river that's that's good what's great really so dark yeah that's really something different that's pretty cool actually yep it's not something normal that you see yep mm -hmm. all right well i see we have a lot of people here so welcome back everyone i hope you had a great weekend we were just talking uh, with rafa about our weekend and how things were going and that's similar what you're going to do we're going to first talk, start talking about your weekend remember when we talk about the weekend we're making questions in the past tense so questions in the past tense always are with did. Um, you can have WH questions. For example, what did you, where did you, who did you, why did you, when did you, okay? Or we can just have the, and the yes, no questions. The yes, no questions are the ones that go with, uh, did you, and then the question, right? Did you eat? Did you go? Did you study? All of these types of questions. So, the first thing we want to do is practice our past tense. So we're going to take a moment with our partners and just a conversation, catch up on our weekends. Okay, do you need any vocabulary? Are there any words that you'd like to know or you don't know how to say? For example, Ana Vilma, how do we say mandados? Hearing. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Only the <laughs> I remember. Ana. Errands. I make some ear earrings. There I make you some go. Errands. Errands. This week. <laughs> very good. Very good. And that's yeah. the idea. All right. So let's okay. do this with our partners and make sure that we have an idea.
Okay, great to see everybody back. Were there any issues, any vocabulary or words that you needed or you're not sure? No? Yeah, go ahead, Ever. Well, what was the question? Okay, uh, my, my question is because um, about one hour ago, I was reading a book and I find uh, a sentence that used the word why, but, but that, that sentence was not a question. And I thought that I used why at the beginning of a, of a sentence, uh, for making a question, and uh, we can use or, or can we use that that word "why" uh, at the beginning of a sentence, even if that's not a question? Yes, it has to do with your statement. If you're explaining the reason, okay. So, a "why" is a question or is an explanation, like this the the reason that you have something okay okay and and i think that's the use uh, uh that they i uh, they was given in the in the sentence i i read probably it's very common to use um sometimes it's not necessary the expression but for example i don't understand why you uh, you don't clean your room okay Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank or you. why you don't clean your room if, if you just have the question, but it, it all depends on in the context. But yes, many times it is used to give the reason or explain the situation. Okay, completely clear. Thank you. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so let's take a look at a couple other things. So we're taking a look now. Yeah. And let's see, we're gonna be looking at today descriptions, adjectives things that we have. So there are sometimes different things that we are describing that we're gonna be taking a look at. So let's say that you want to describe or talk about something. Normally we use adjectives, but not only adjectives, we can use participles. And today we're gonna to learn what that is, okay? Um, we are going to be beginning unit three. So unit three, okay, right here, unit three, the objective is learning about participles as adjectives, okay? And today we're also going to be learning about uh, present and past participles. So first let's look at what are participles. Nice to have you back with us. So can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. 
Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Okay. So, a couple of things That's are happening. Quite a few things. The first are... Fine with me. The participles. What are we talking about? When we're talking about them, is all of these words, these descriptions, exciting, boring, fascinating. These are all of the I ing that we are using to describe. Also, we have the past participles, okay? Uh, the ones with ed, okay? So first, what do they talk about the movie? What happens at the end? Okay, after the conversation, what happens? What do they talk about? <clears throat> they call to the to the theater to, to verify if the movie is still on, and then also at the end they decide to to stay at home and watching TV. I think. Okay, why? What happened at the movie theater? What happened to the movie? Uh, can I continue or someone else is wanna? I, I think Ever raised his hand. Ever? Mm -hmm. uh, the last night. Okay. The, the movie is not played. It's not, it's not being played anymore. It finished last night. Yeah, it finished last night. It stopped playing. Okay. And all of those are just the idea for describing the, the movie and describing the actress. Okay. So we're just using other words. It's just learning about other words on how to describe somebody, okay? So in this moment, we're gonna learn how we describe it and what's the difference between the ING and the ED, okay? Let me put an example in the chat, okay? So for example, there are two different wins when you say, Normally when you describe yourself, it's ED. I am excited, okay? I, I, I'm so happy, I am excited, right? Why? Ah, because the movie is exciting. Normally we use ED to describe the person. We use ING to describe the thing. And that's the, the main idea. But we're going to watch a video to make it better and to see, make sure that you have some examples. But the main idea is ING, right? And ED, which one goes with each? ED, the person, ING, the things. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. So the first thing about participles is that the ing is the present one and the ed is the past one. That's important to distinguish. That way you know when they're talking about present or past. Present. ING, the past, ED. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, 
the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two. I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle, and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun. And past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Okay. So the first thing is, did you understand when we use the ing and when we use the ed? Yes. Because I don't know, I, I don't hear any comments. Everybody's quiet, so yes or no? I think ing it's for to express the feeling. Um, and I don't remember the other one. Sorry. I e think e that e e ing is to e e e is to describe the the object that make the, the that make you feel the, the feeling. And when you try to describe uh, your feelings, you use ed. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Remember, everybody, it's pronounced I-N-G, no E-N-G. I-N-G. Right. The E is a different letter. Okay, so good. That's it. We're describing feelings or we're talking about the things. So we're going to do two things. First, with our partners, we are going to practice this conversation. If you do not have the computer or access to the computer, don't worry, I put it into the WhatsApp group, okay? So we're gonna practice conversation once. First, I am Roger, my partner is Carol. Then I am Carol, my partner is Roger. This is number one. Number two is with my partner, we're going to practice 3.3 and we are going to complete the activity, okay? What was the activity? Is this one. Using these words, we, my partner and I, have to make the decision which is correct. Is correct that we use amazing or is correct that we use amazed? Is it correct that we use annoying or annoyed? Confusing, confused. Disgusting or disgusted. Embarrassing or embarrassed. Shocking, shocked. With my partner, we read and we make the decision. And then we're going to check together as a class. 
So right now, two activities. Reading practice, speaking. The second, grammar practice, completing, ING or ED. Okay, teacher. Any questions? Yes, Carla, it's clear? Okay, it's clear. okay. Okay, perfect. Okay. Then let's try it then.
Okay. Let's try it together. Okay. The first one. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, my ticket cost $10. I was really shocked. Shook. Excellent. With ED, correct. I was shocked by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. I was a little embarrassed. embarrassed. Excellent. Embarrassed with ED again. Good. Mm -hmm. Then there was trash all over the theater. The mess was disgusting. disgusting. Excellent. Disgusting with ING. The people behind me talked during the movie, which was annoying. 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 Good with ING. Good. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too. Confusing. 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 Yes, confusing. Yes, sir. Uh huh. And I like the special effects, though. They were amazing. Amazing. That's correct. Amazing with ing also. Good. Were there any words that are not clear or anything that you're not sure about? Oh, it's okay. Okay, perfect. So here with our partners, you're going to read several sentences. We have a 10 sentences. You're going to read and decide, is it ED or ING? This is not a long time, only a few minutes because it's only reading and selecting. So for this one, we don't have to worry about so many uh, or so much time with our partners. So let's say maybe just
I don't know what happened. You didn't connect with your group. Uh, in this moment, I am starting the class. The what, Anna? Uh, uh, I don't have a group because I, in this moment, I start in the class. Ah, uh, okay. No problem, Anna. We do it together. Okay, guys. Okay, thanks. No problem. What's number one? Johnny Depp is a very amazing, amazing. amazing. Very good, very amazing actor. Number two, I find animated films amusing. Amusing. Yes. amusing. Great. Number three, I'm not interested. Interested. Interest. Interest. Good. Only the pronunciation. No e. No inte. Interested. 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 Mm -hmm. Interested. 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 Yes, this no interested is interested. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Number four, I'm bored. Bored. Okay. Yeah, bored. bored. Number five, I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting. 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 Good. Number six, I'm fascinated. 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 Okay. Seven. It's surprising. Surprising. Okay. Number eight. I was really shocked. 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 Okay. Sounds like T. Shocked. 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 Number nine. The mess was disgusting. 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 Good. And ten. I always find thrillers too confusing. 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 Excellent job, guys. You see that? <laughs> 100. Good job. So you can see all of those answers are correct. So, what did we learn? Today we learned ED and ING for the verbs. ED is for your feelings, ING are for the objects or the nouns. Okay, so ED feelings, ING are for the other things. Great. Now we're going to learn more vocabulary. We're going to learn about synonyms that are very common for adjectives or for descriptions. First, let's learn a little bit about opinions. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our partners and we're going to discover, investigate what do those opinions mean? What do all of those words refer to? So if you don't know, you and your partner have to investigate. You have to check in Google, search dictionary or thesaurus. Okay? Mm -hmm. You have to find the words absurd, bizarre, disgusting, all of those words. First, we're gonna listen to the pronunciation. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Uphold. Make sure you ask the teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful. Dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. Okay, so one more time. What are we going to do? With our partner, you are going to put these words in the correct category. Are they synonyms of strange? Are they synonyms of stupid? Are they synonyms of wonderful? Or are they synonyms of awful? Listen one more time to the pronunciation. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Absurd, bizarre, disgusting, dreadful, dumb, fabulous, fantastic, horrible, marvelous, odd, outstanding, 
ridiculous, silly, terrible, unusual, weird. Okay. So now we have to work hard with our partners because you and your partners have to investigate and discover the synonyms for those different categories, for those all of those different words, okay? For this one, it's going to take a little bit longer because you have to investigate and put into the correct place. So for this activity, we're going to have eight minutes. Eight minutes for you and your partner to put and investigate into the correct category. Any questions before we begin? Okay, let's do it. We want you to write four sentences using the word to learn about movies, actors, and novels. Make sure to write them on a discussion box. She's a wonderful actress. Nice to have you back with us. So can you tell me which movies are playing in theaters right now? Can you tell me which movies have you seen? The next conversation is about two people trying to decide which movie to see tonight. Try to listen carefully for details. What's playing? Part A. Listen and practice. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Hmm, maybe. What's playing? How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. What about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. Now that you have listened to the conversation, tell me what happens next. What do they decide to do? Write it on our discussion box. Yeah, her last movie was especially good. It's probably one of my favorites of all time. Actually, I didn't see that, but I heard it was just okay. Well, I'll call the theater and find out what time the movie starts. Hello? Could you tell me what time the new Halle Berry movie is playing tonight? I'm sorry. The Halle Berry movie closed last night. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Thanks. You won't believe this. It's not showing anymore. It just finished playing last night. Oh, no. I guess we're back where we started. Why don't we just see what's on TV tonight? That's fine with me. Welcome. This time you will learn about participles used as adjectives in present and in past. Please take notes and feel free to play the audio program as well as the explanation as many times as you need to. Page 87. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Participles as adjectives. Present participles. Stephen King's books are fascinating. The last James Bond film was boring. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. Past participles. I'm fascinated by Stephen King's books. 
I was bored by the last James Bond film. I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. Before we begin, I want to go over to what exactly is the past participle. The past participle is the form of a verb typically ending in ed in English that is used in forming perfect and passive tenses and sometimes as an adjective. In this section, we'll study participles as adjectives. Pay attention. I want to go over two important points. Number one, do you remember what an adjective is? Very good. An adjective describes a noun. For example, the white cat ran away from John. Adjective, white, noun, cat. In other words, because participles can be used as adjectives, it means that the participle as adjective also describes a noun. For example, the white cat was exciting to watch. Noun, cat, participle as adjective, exciting. Number two. I imagine you noticed we use present and past participles during the audio program. Let's work around that. When we use present participle, we add ing. And when we use past participle, we add ed. Notice what happens here. We took the verb excite and we turn it into present participle, becoming exciting. The same verb, but this time into past participle, and it became excited. I know you're wondering when to use participles in present or past. Here you go. Present participles describe a noun, and past participles describe feeling of a noun. I'll try to simplify it. ing equals outside factor that causes a feeling. ED equals expresses the feeling or reaction. With examples, I am sure you will understand it better. Here, I am just showing you the present and past participle. Interesting, interested. Tiring, tired. Exciting, excited. Now we'll use them in sentences. The museum is interesting. I'm interested. Work is tiring. I am tired. The movie is exciting. I'm excited. Please complete the description below with the correct form of these words. As always, write your answers in our discussion box. Hi, ready to work? Go over the list of synonyms and place them under the correct category. Please listen to the following list. For you to work it out, you must make a chart on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check on your answers. Okay, guys, so let's take a look. We have a lot of words, a lot of vocabulary. Let's start with the first category. In the first category, we see the word awful. What are the synonyms of awful? Disgusting. Excellent, disgusting. Dreadful. Horrible. Horrible. Terrible. And terrible. terrible. And terrible, very good. Now, what about wonderful? What are the descriptions for wonderful? Fabulous. Fabulous. Fantastic. 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 Marvelous. 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 Outstanding. And outstanding. Correct. And Fabulous. Outstanding. Yes. Outstanding. 
Good. Now, what about stupid? What could be for stupid? Dumb. 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 Yes. Dumb. Bizarre. Silly. Absurd. Ridiculous. Silly. Absurd. Silly. And absurd. Absurd. And absurd. 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 Yes. And for strange. Un unusual. 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 Bizarre. 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 Odd. Oh. Weird. 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 That's right. That's right. And weird. And those are the ones that have the same meanings. Are all of those words okay? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yes. okay, perfect. Now, we're going to pause in, as far as the platform, we're going to pause right there. Now we're going to go with our partners and we want to describe a movie, the same thing, a movie, the actor, the actress, Tell your partner, what was the last movie that you saw? Did you like it? You didn't like it? Why? How was it? Was it an exciting movie? Was it interesting? Was it bizarre? Was it fabulous? Try to use the vocabulary that we're learning today. Okay? So, with our partners, we're going to describe a movie or a series. If you don't like movies, you can also describe a series. What do you like about it? Who are the actors and actresses? And just ready? Okay. Okay. Great. Okay.
Okay. Were there any questions, guys? Any words or uh, vocabulary that you wanted to use? How do you say sangrienta? Bloody. 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 We can use gore? Uh, no, it's not the same. Gore is like... Um, um, it's like like maybe with torture or other, but not necessarily that. But yes, sometimes, but it's going to be more bloody is the word that she wants. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I hope you have a great evening. And tomorrow we continue practicing more and using more our adjectives in our vocabulary and grammar that we learn. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye, Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.